Throughout the past 2,600 years, the same cycles of events and forces have appeared in the same places. Middle East wars dominate today's headlines. Gaza is mainly in the news. Once again, the Arabs and the Jews are at odds. There is nothing new in this story. Let's look back at 600 BC. There was a war between the Babylonians and the Egyptians. Jerusalem was caught in the middle of the conflict. The Jewish king knew he had to choose sides. He made the wrong decision by going with the Egyptians. Babylonians won the war, and they burned the Temple of Jerusalem to the ground. The Jews lost the Ark of the Covenant. The heirs to the throne of David were killed. On the rivers of Babylon, the Jews wept in captivity for Zion. This was a dark period in the history of the Bible. After retreating from the Holy Land, the Egyptians moved on, and Gaza remained under their control. From Jerusalem, Jeremiah took the daughters of King Zedekiah to ports where the Nile River empties into the sea. Through all these hardships, Prince Mulek fled from the Middle East, to the heartland of America. We are amazed that we have America's oldest ship replica in the heartland across the Mississippi River from Norvo. The more we examine the history of what Phoenicia represents, the more excited we become. We want the whole world to understand how Captain Philip Beale's transoceanic voyage changed the history of ancient America. 2,600 years is a long time. Wood timbers on the surface of the water can rot in one generation. Fortunately for our story, mud in the old port of Marseille is very fine and extremely low in oxygen. This mud formed a protective cover for the timber frame of an ancient shipwreck. The wreck's remains are displayed in the Museum of Marseille, and today, you can see the timbers with your own eyes. The replica is Phoenicia's starting point on the river Sidon's west bank. We can now retrace the 6,700-mile journey Prince Mulek took 2,620 years ago from Jerusalem to Zerahemla. Let's be grateful for the mud of Vieux Port in France's oldest city, Marseille. Without the fine mud and low oxygen levels in the port of Marseille, the timbers of the Phoenicia would have been lost to history. The ancient replica is in the lost city of Zerahemla. The replica sailed the rough waters of the Atlantic Ocean and is now on display in Montrose, Iowa. Because of the physical characteristics of the mud in the old port of Marseille, this replica represents the best connection between the New World and the Bible. We invite all people of goodwill to come and see for themselves the great work God is doing in our day to unveil His hand in America. Let's increase our faith in the marvelous work and wonder of the Restoration.